How you doing, Mo? Yeah. How you doing? As you were. I won't bug you. I'm sorry. Okay. There we go. So, we'll just, uh, lobby in the- Hey, DX! Alright, people are coming. People are coming. People are having a sip of tea. Yeah, just as I was about to start streaming, Loki started doing his I gotta go out dance. So we're getting started a bit late today, but not too late. Let's try a new routine, new order of things before Twitch today. Seemed to work out pretty well. It was less of a mad scramble to get going on time. So let's just jump into the game. We are at the weather station, who I've just got to join up. I didn't think you guys... Ooh. Ooh. What's a floating carrier? Ooh, stuff. Hey, Oron. Oh. Timefall shelter. Very useful. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. So, as you see, it's like... Act 3, and they're still unlocking features in this game. I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 hey, came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chirelium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, hey. this weather station can finally function as intended. Let's see where we are. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the okay. same for you. We won't let you down. Okay. I promise. Take care. Do something about that stash, man. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. There's a significant impact on Chirelium levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. What? The more we know, the more what accurately happened, we can determine where to expect Timefall and when. Without the chiral network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your cufflinks. Hey, Ellen. Check your map. Glad you liked You'll it. See. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. What they're doing an alternative costume is DLC right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders what's, and you'll put that region on the what's wrong? Oh, that's why my sound Must is strange. Am. Thank you, Hans. Good work, <laughs> Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the Cairo network now, yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. That's Zelda and that's Momo. As you see, Momo is sitting like a person on the chair. Order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. All right. So here we are. So we're, yeah, we're Midwesty, ish. Hit that Momo? People love you. People love you too, Zelly Belly. Alright, so I can just pick up another quest. Is my... Oh, there's no garage here. Okay. Mm, nothing. Oh, I can recycle a bunch of shit here. Yeah, I think they are. Which is a very, very... Classically Western story, which I dig. How bad did my gear take a shellacking? Oh, not too bad. I'll show you guys the bola gun today. So what? That... What was that other outfit? Are there like two Sindels like they do with the uh, DC versus MK? Yeah, that's a relief, eh, Helen? The Loki is a dog, but he'd like to be a cat. See, I don't get why they didn't just put the character everybody wanted instead of this Stupid fake out. Oh, farm. Huh. 
Hmm. Here, let's do this. What's the premium delivery? No. <laughs> what is it, Momo? You look like you're about to sneeze. We've added a time fall shelter option to your PCC. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. Congratulations, Sam. Your PCCs leveled up, so to speak. Ah, uh, that. It now not surprising, Cloudcraft. But and thanks, Mega. Not surprising, Cloudcraft. I'll but that's still. Sam, I've added a safe house schematic to your PCC. It's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to so build. So they're screwing with Sindel but fans. Once complete, it's pretty I much wonder if Ed Boon finally went room. enough. Give we're losing shot. too many we're losing too many longtime players. I wanna believe that's it. Maybe I'm being too uh, optimistic. No, I... I've been reading about Stadia specs and stuff like that. I have not been uh, focusing on the marketing. A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal huh. effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady <sighs> supply of chiral crystals. That's a good question, Oron. Obviously, sure I don't have, have an answer. To get where you need to go. Cause Momo is a prince. Yes. Momo, you don't you don't like being called those things, do you, Momo? You're just Momo. Yeah. Yeah. This is what happens all day. Cause Momo thinks the younger cats are his kids. So they just jump up and he gives them a cleaning. Yeah. He gives them some parenting. And then they go about their day. There you go, Momo. Okay. Yeah, I for me to stop playing Mortal Kombat that really says something. I, I don't know what the game itself is like, because I wouldn't play it. After all their cheap shit. Alright, let's... Controversial Almighty Thunder, but possibly accurate. Man, I'm dressed way too warm. Recharge my robot pants. Yeah, very likely what I'll do. What are you? Pointing me to Donata. Okay. Weather forecasts can now be viewed via your cufflinks. Should come in handy when you're on the road. Time fall and wind. Okay.
Okay, so... Fuck, it's everywhere. Oh, jeez. The thing I don't get about the people that get on the Mortal Kombat outfits is that it's a game where you brutally murder people and you're worried about titties. Like, just throw it all at the wall because you don't want kids playing it anyway. Give as many disincentives as possible. Like, make it very clear this game is not for kids. And Zelda's back. Yes, yes. Oh. Wait, there's not supposed to be any... Oh, I'm right on the edge of it. Okay. See, we're like... We're different up here. Like, we get a lot of the American media, but our relationship to it is totally different. Daddy belly. Hey, Greg. I think that's partially it, Oron. Our winters are so damn cold. It's like, yay, son. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <sighs> Mega, it's it's legal in a non-sexualized way, but that gets kind of fudged all the time and Everybody's just like, shut up, shut up, don't complain. Should be able to make it across here. Depends on the house, Helen, and depends on where and when it was built. It basically means you can breastfeed in public, is the short version.
Well, you can if you want. German tourists do it. Like, not, not just, like, totally naked, but they just, like, take off their shirts when it's hot, walk around in their bras. I don't know why it's always German tourists. Well, that's the thing. There's tons more important problems, and... Can you imagine, like... The big deal in the 80s, a high scout, the big deal in the 80s was like National Geographic covers of like topless indigenous women. Um, and now that would be considered highly, highly problematic. What is this? What are these red things? Oh, signs. Okay. Okay, let's try out my new... Fixing it up, fixing it up. There we go. Hey, Dominic. Yeah, I don't think that... I don't think we should treat arousal as dangerous. Ten minutes have passed. And it's still raining. Alright. Thirty minutes. Okay. This is a very elaborate weather system. It's kind of impressive. Yay! All right. That's right, Mega. And uh, people should learn how to deal with their hormones. I like that Fragile's umbrella is actually more like an antenna. Because kitties today don't know what antenna are. Hey, is that my bike? My bike! Hi, bike! I didn't mean to leave you out in the rain.
All right. Reunited with my bike that I made a fancy red color. I really like the rust effects too. If anyone's watching. Very, very impressive to me. Beginning scan. Scan in the bridge of the ID. Verifying ID. So note to self. If you leave your bike out. I love the the, the bots. The bots are awesome, I think. Okay. Wait, no, put it on the Put it on this thing. Okay. Whoop, back up. Ah, uh, somebody took my truck. Mm, stretch my legs. Yeah. Rust Rust is a visual indicator. Like, my bike got left out in the rain. And it is fucked up. Rust is an indicator that things are getting kind of rough. I was thinking about that the other day. That's pretty funny. I thought about you doing that when it happened and I chuckled. Um, the time fall, the rain, Ari speeds up time, so gear degrades, like, rapidly. Yeah, it's basically a fancy pants version of acid rain. David Lynch, there's similarities too as well, William. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Though, yes, the playing with time. I just went with um, with Cronenberg because of the body horror elements. There are two movies called Crash. Yes, that was the Cronenberg one. Cronenberg also made uh, Videodrome, Existence, um, Scanners, I believe was him. Um, he made a history of violence, which is probably his most mainstream one. That was a great movie. He also adapted Naked Lunch to film. Kind of. Yes, he remade The Fly, too. Shivers! That was the one I was looking for, Stuart. That was, like, his first big one. He, um, was it Shivers that they cast a porn actress in it and it was super controversial? Good morning, Sam. Blood also, blood he's blood. Canadian. Thank you for your generosity. Almost try to sleep. He's not happy having to sleep on camera. Hey, BB. How you doing, buddy? Is BB gonna go psycho on me this time? Oh no, he's happy. How you doing, baby? There's parts where I don't know if it's supposed to be sleep deprivation or some kind of fucked upness, but Sam has uh, nightmares, and in one, BB attacks him. I was like, what? Cool. 
I remember when they cast Tracy Lords and Tommy Knockers. That that was This is funny. All right. The selfies are hilarious because they're all, they're so unflattering. Here you go. Ah. What is with that tongue? And for some odd reason, that makes BB laugh. BB has a very weird sense of humor. Whoop. He likes going fast. He likes it when Sam, like, stumbles but doesn't fall. Um, and uh, he likes it when Sam makes funny faces in the mirror and gets selfied. BB has a sick sense of humor. Oran, I agree, but even the kind of vaudevillian stuff I've done disallows me for certain things. It is ridiculous. BB might be, yeah. The thing is, women from adult were some of the night. It's funny. Women in adult film and female pop singers. Two of the nicest, like, classes of entertainers I've ever met. Rock musicians? Assholes. <laughs> Horrible assholes. Eventually, I was like, I'm not meeting any more bands I like because I, like, like, ruined it. Could never listen to the albums again. Yeah, Jenna Jameson has... Um, I'm trying to think of, I mean, Tracy Lords has probably had the most, the issue that some, some porn actors have is that I remember one of them. I was, I was at a set. Hey, Eileen. Um, oh, Eileen shows up. Okay. No BB, no BB flashback. Okay. Um, but I remember this one. I was at a, a we were on a set and I remember I think somebody asked which do you prefer porn actress porn star adult film star and um, this one woman who did straight porn but was actually a lesbian in real life she was paying her way through school um, and she just goes actress nobody pays us for our acting and Everyone in the room burst out laughing. They actually prefer porn star, which I found really interesting. Sorry, just loading up on can probably swap this one out now that I stole from you guys want to see some of the combat with the uh, the mules it's pretty fun Was her it wasn't her real name. Shay something. She's like a, a Polynesian girl. Um, worked for Digital Playground. That's what we did most of our interview stuff with. We did some stuff with Vivid, but Digital Playground, they were so above board that I liked working with them. Because you, you never got the sense that anything was like, sleazy or anyone was being exploited 
Shannon Tweed, there you go, yeah. She had, she did some successful crossover stuff too. Just make a new bola gun. Um, that might have been her Oron. Let me look. That could have been her. She's Filipino, not Polynesian. Is she still in the business? The pictures aren't so great online. Oh my god, I can't recognize. If this is her, she looked a lot better in person. Oh god, I can't tell. Tea break. Detroit Rock City. Now, there is a movie I haven't heard much of before. Yes, some porn stars did. They were in Saints Row. I enjoyed that. Porn stars are really professional, man. Like, people who, uh... Uh... People who knock people who are in, in porn, they don't know from it. You should You should talk to people... You know, before judging them. See, that's why I wish the stigma was reduced, because I think there's nothing wrong with the work. It's the stigma associated with the work that gets people into trouble. Okay, why did the friggin' thing... Have they resolved her case? Hans? Mercedes? So it's still pending. God, that's gotta be. Ugh. Thank you for your company. Wait, why do I have multiple power skeletons? Hmm. <sighs> Why didn't I recycle you? So I want the other one. Inventory management is not my favorite thing in this game. Okay, so that's the one. The one I'm wearing now is... Yeah, okay. No, William, it didn't. I don't know where you sent that thing. I don't, like, I don't know what happened. Ha! Ha! Is that what they call it, Eileen? That's hilarious. Hey, 
Hey, Alpha. See, I, I learned that uh, construction due to stand-up comedian friends. Eileen, wait, cancel, no. Okay, so I guess it doesn't like the resins. Let's see if that, no. What don't it like? This is a bit tedious. No, what don't you like? Okay. Hey, McTeddy. I'm gonna show them some of the, uh, uh, um, some of the uh, mule combats. What is it? Okay, I can just dump a fuck ton into uh, roads now. Then, um, Eileen does the whole. Won't use the word in case somebody gets upset with me. Uh, does it have the same sting in Spanish that it does in English, or is it considered less of an insult? No, they would have given it to us then. Rob, I don't know what the heck happened. Thank you for your contribution. So it it it's really Okay. See, I'm fascinated by this stuff because I learned through my uh, my late stepfather, you know, rest in peace, that certain words don't have the same sting over in England as they do here. Yeah, um, there's Horizon Zero Dawn stuff in this game. The holograms. That's one of the, like, transmitter giraffe things from Horizon Zero Dawn. There's actually Aloy in another place. You can unlock the holograms. Yeah, Hans, that's one of those words. So it's not seen as a super bad word, right, Eileen? Like, it's not a... And unless it's said with malice, there's not a huge sting to it. Oh, I've gotten stuff through the P.O. box. I just, I don't know what happened, Rob. Yeah. And I can't repeat it. Interesting that it... It... See, there we go. There's the Horizon Zero Dawn character. First time I saw it, I was like, whoa! It... Eileen, I think it's interesting that both the Spanish and the... Um... English got what just happened. Okay. Uh... Both the Spanish and the English got modded there. That's very funny.
There you go. It's interesting because among disability advocates, there's so much usage of um, terminologies that people get outraged by in in proper society. Yeah, the the c word. Um, Um, thanks, Rob. Um, the C word is definitely one that does not have the same, um, uh, sting in the UK. What can't you do? And even in different parts of the UK, apparently, it's seen differently. Yeah, that, that's a dicey one. That's one of those if in doubt, don't use it words here. Man. Okay, so I need... I need 300... If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to build a road. Alright. The, the official word now, Mega, is Aboriginal. I'm going to turn my volume down so I'm not constantly shouting over it there. The official word is Abor uh, is indigenous here, but I know people who are First Nations and they call themselves Indians. So, I think it's one of those things where if you're part of the group, you're allowed to say it. Granted, those people also say, I don't care about stuff like that. We have bigger problems. Which, you know, totally fair. Whoops. Why do people leave cargo on the road? Dominic, the whole ginger thing was more that there weren't enough, enough of us to really complain. So we just kind of got used used to it. I think Tim Minchin kind of won that one. Is Stuart? I think that's accurate. Um. But it's also that there's still... I personally think there's a difference between political correctness and actual sensitivity. And... Actual sensitivity is a different thing. Political correctness is just saying the right words so you don't actually have to do fuck all. But that's just my take on it. Alright. Come out and attack me. So I can show off the bola gun. Oh, are they all still knocked out? Nope. Okay. Somebody saw me. There we are. Okay. Get my gun ready. This is like violence with no killing. Which I kind of find super violent in its own way. Come and get me! Come on! Thunderdome! Oh, 
Why didn't that work? There you are. Oh. Here's why I say it's super violent. Oh, hey, a car! Whoa! Whoa, this has never happened. Don't hit me! Dude! You're supposed to not kill people! You are very bad people! You could have killed me, and then I could have exploded, and you all would have died. You dumb humps. Alright, so this is why I say this non-violence is actually super violent. Because to perma-knock him out, you have to kick him. Or else I get back up and give you more grief. Oh, see that guy's still moving around. I gotta go kick him. I'll kick you in a bit. Hang on. Be still. There. Ah, oh, do not hit me! That makes my robot pants sad. Be still. I think BBs are actually terrifying, which is why I like them. I mean, any game where my best bud is a literal abortion is kind of okay by me. Alright. Have I kicked them all? Yeah, I have. Oh my god, my mother said that. I'm not sure how ironic she was. She's like... Five foot one and something. Now I'm gonna go steal your shit. Hey, Punisher. I take their car, but I have my car, and I like my car better. I have stolen their cars, though. It's pretty fun. Because they're such assholes. Like, they actively try to make you feel sorry for them, but I so don't. They're dicks. Actually, I might have to take their car. Because... Oh, wait. Maybe I can use the floaty thing. What's funny is you gotta make sure your stuff isn't too uh, tall when you go through here, or it um, knocks off. This is how we This is how we get our supplies to build our roads by robbing from mentally ill people. That's what I mean. They try to make you feel sorry for the mules by saying, "Oh no, they can't help what they do. Just cra they're crazy. They're victims too." I'm sorry. They're dicks. You can be crazy and a giant asshole. Is this going to knock off? Yeah, see look. I love that. buddy who was a little person um he actually did a whole thing in his I mean he's passed on now still makes me sad died way too young um but uh 
he did a whole bit in his uh, stand-up routine about what people call him. One bit was uh, a real thing that happened to him when he was waiting for a bus. And a guy was looking at him all side-eye for a while, and he finally worked up the courage to say, Are you Willow? And of course, that's a reference nobody gets now, but it's hilarious if you know Willow. Yeah. <laughs> Sam got some mad skills. I will go fast to make BB happy. Whoop, but don't drive off the road. Willow's an awesome movie! Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with building roads. Because it makes everything so much easier. Willow is up there with Labyrinth and Dune, in my opinion, regarding movies. Oh, Willow's absolutely a train wreck, which is why it's kind of awesome. We've collectively lost the ability to just enjoy movies that are, are wrecks. I, I kind of have that, and I haven't finished it yet. I'm only on like episode four of the new Dark Crystal, but there are elements of that feel in that thing. I mean, that that scene with the eyeball I mean that's dark shit man okay. there you go mega you're like the only person who remembers that show <laughs> I lean. Um, yeah. It is sort of a metaphor for how roads connected America. I love that this game kind of shows that the Japanese have a greater appreciation for, like, American popular legend than Americans do. Wonder if I should walk to that place and just take the truck. No, it's long. I guess I could jump and then take the truck. Maybe that's it, that they look up to America as a place that still has open areas. Yeah, Eileen, that was a thing. They thought kids could handle it back then because we didn't know what it was. For like costumes and stuff, right, Stuart? The new Cats movie terrifies me. Okay, it won't let me. Okay, clearly gotta print more shit. Thank you for your contribution. 
Let me just stash more shit. Why the fuck haven't I recycled this? Oh well. Oh, this is in storage. Okay. Still have these? Why didn't I recycle them? Hmm. That's interesting, Stuart. Is it... Is it low-key? I lead. Now I'm on to now I'm on to Avenue Q. Everyone's a little bit racist. Um, who's it made by, Joel? Yes, Paul. Yes, Per, you did. Thank you for your contribution. See, that's the thing. It's not really low key. What would you say the hook in Hello, How Are You is Punisher? Because that song takes a while to get going. That one's fun the way it's performed. I have to watch it, Hans, with those jokes, because I got in so much trouble for stuff like that. Just describing what my dog actually does got me called transphobic because I made a joke. So I am being very careful about that because people have no sense of humor and it's just not worth it. There are some battles I'm willing to fight, some I'm just not. All right, come on, I'm here to kick some ass. Wait, I missed the off ramp. I don't really care. I just don't want the, um, Still got I just don't want the headache because they don't listen to reason and they just try to cancel. And the joke just isn't worth it. Some people, see this is something because I'm kind of a furry, I don't understand. Some people get very offended when you compare, um, when you make any sort of reference that they take as comparing a person to an animal. Not recognizing that when I do that, it's favorable. I love special alloys. What does special alloys mean? Hey, where can I pick you up? I should be able to pick you up. Carry on back. Carry on back. Damn it, Sam, get it together. There we go. Yeah, I actually had my sister-in-law flip out at me because she's one of these my child is perfect types and her kid did something that she thought was so smart um and it wasn't actually all that smart and i'm like oh yeah my cats do it too thinking i was like we have something in common oh no she got extremely offended 
And just because someone's offended doesn't mean they're right. But sometimes you just have to not fight it. Are we out of ceramics now? Oh, I'm almost snoring. Oh, I can't use these. These are, these belong to people. Yeah, this is nice. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This is going to be an epic tower now. Big Teddy, that's kind of what makes it awesome. I'll advance the plot in a minute. I'm just trying to show how the road building works, but that might take a while because I need a ton of chiral crystals. I think the longer the road gets, the more it takes to build them. I should do this on my own time. I'm just trying to make things easier for myself, but... Because the one thing about doing this is you get a lot of likes. And... That's actually a pretty important metric in this game, and it makes me uncomfortable in all the best ways. Because I'm uncomfortable in any society that makes popularity something tangible. Because I'm not good at it. Okay, you're telling me that part of the road is eroded? <laughs> Alright, let me drop this off, and if there's any left over, I'll dump it. They're putting it on PC? Hmm. I wonder if they're gonna cross-network with PlayStation players. Or whether PC players are gonna be their own kind of group. I missed the road. I went too fast. Yeah, I've been hearing good things about Fallen Order, but I am so like, no, it cannot be. Yeah, you like it, Oron? Man, 
Man, how did that happen? Every so often! See, that's the one thing I will say about EA that I can't say... Well, no, Activision put out Sekiro. Um, but every so often EA actually puts out something good. Activision doesn't give them a, give themselves enough opportunity to put out something good because everything they do is so reductive. Oh, I can use those materials. All right. All right. So now I just need the cryo crystals. Huh, that's interesting, Oron. How would that work? Alright, now I'm gonna go check on my road. Um, yeah, the demo was not great. So I'm very surprised that it, like, pleasantly surprised that it's good. That makes me happy. Yeah, it does London Bridge. Because your company is Bridges. Oh, good. Because the original trilogy stuff is best up. Fight me. Okay, now how do I... I have, I have not actually repaired bridges, but you look like you're in rough shape, so let's check you out. Because you gotta, like, put the bike on okay. the pedestal for it to, like... Okay, so... Structure menu. No, you don't need repairs. Even though... Okay. It is London Bridge, Azari. Yeah, I, um... I have trouble playing as evil characters. And I know why, and it has nothing to do with the game. It's just, I'm treated as so evil in my real world, in, in real life, that I actually want to be rewarded for doing the things I'm inclined to do um, in a game. No, it's totally cool if you like playing evil. My not liking playing evil has nothing to do with the whole... I have no moral objection to people wanting to play as evil. I don't think it means people have evil inclinations. It's the... it's... I think it's actually the exact same urge, quite frankly, that... Um, I want to get away with... what feels normal to me. Whereas other people want to get away with being evil. Thank you for your contribution. Oh, I think it's it's telling too. Eileen says something. But I mean Gamers are very Interested in fairness. Okay, now I'm gonna try to figure out how to get. Wait, is it raining there? What? Okay. Oh no, it's raining everywhere. Wait. It's not raining now. Can I make it? Save first. Well, I'd argue that if you, uh, um, if you don't have the choice to be evil, then you don't have the choice to be good.
so if you don't allow both options, there's no reward for being good. And I prefer games where it's just characters have opinions. And if characters don't agree with what you do, then they don't work as hard for you or they won't work for you at all. I don't like the uh, paradigm of a game determining for me what is evil and what is good. I'm wondering at this point if I literally cannot get vehicles across here deliberately. They want you to rebuild the road. That's something I've always been miffed by with the Jedi stuff, that they're all about staying on the side of light, but... Ah, oh, it needs metals, not ceramics, okay. It's about being on the side of light, but it doesn't want you to form connections. Connections are what allow you to stay on that side for a lot of people. I still have not finished Life is Strange. I cannot get back, back, back past chapter one. It just friggin' repels me. I... It's the same problem I'm having with the CW superhero shows. I just don't do teen. I don't do teeny. I don't do teen angst. I've done my time. Wish I could recharge that easy. Melodrama. That's a better word, Mega. I have real issues with melodrama. Because I always have to be the person holding my shit together when everybody else is melodramaing all over the place, and I'm fucking tired of it. I'm exhausted. Because that stuff's infectious, right? If they were terrified of the Kara Lina, Lina shippers, what they're doing lately, Oron, is infuriating them. I don't even like it. The heel turn just didn't work for me. And, like, they retroactively try to explain it, but no... They're grown-ups acting like teenagers. Yep, couldn't stick with Smallville either, Stuart. Just any of these teen shows? Still got can't do it. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. The thing is, Oran, she's already she's already pretty much crossed it. As far as I'm concerned, she's done some pretty horrible things. The, uh, I'm, it's awful, Eileen. I'm so used to that. Wow. It won't allow that. Okay. I just want shows. And the problem is the writers don't know how to adult. And so they can't write characters who can adult. But, hey, Rudy. Thanks. Thank you for your continued support. Oh. I don't, I don't know how caught up I am. The la I just watched, like, two episodes last night. Um, but it was the... Well, I don't want to... It was the Everybody Emos episode 
where, like, okay, the Martians are an emotional people, so the stuff with Jean and his brother, all right, but, um, um, like, it was that, and then, like, Alex is totally together, awesome girlfriend, suddenly just isn't. And I'm like, what is going on? I just want Legends of Tomorrow to come back. Uh, it was, yeah, it was that. And then they resolved, I think, the storyline with Jean and his brother. Uh, the dad came back as like a projection. Is like a Martian equivalent of a Force Ghost. And Mitch Pelegi was in it. Hey, can I get Cryo Crystals from you? she did get people killed Oron at the DEO All weapons will be locked until departure. Thank you. Yeah, Lena, that that's the whole angst between them, Eileen. Is Lena found out before Kara told her. And so everything is very 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 much angst. And now she's plotting to destroy uh Supergirl because at one point no, some people got torn off. People got pulled off by the monster, Oron. Some people got killed. That that dude, the the guy with the the things, also got killed. Now that was by another group, but um, it uh yeah. How many do you have? Ooh, all right, nice. Well, then they had this whole flashback where Lena Lothar's basically like, it's like, I don't know if I can say it because Twitch censors it, but it's like lesbian overtones buddy Tomb Raider. And it's after this, like, medallion that <coughs> um, Lena's mom wanted. Um... Oh, I find the whole superhero thing of I need to not tell them to protect them is stupid because if they know, they can take precautions. If they don't know, uh, Lena's Lex's adopted sister. What? Um, but yeah, I never liked that. I hate it on the Flash too. But uh, yeah, they did this whole weird Tomb Raider thing with, um, this character, what is it? They they over Spanishize her name every time she says it. What is it? I forget it. Yeah, Andrea Rojas. Every time they say it that way. Cause look, Spanish person, diversity points. My husband pointed out last night that um, there's no Asian character on uh, on Supergirl. And the joke is that the show's shot in Vancouver, so it's actually difficult to not cast an Asian actor because there are so many Asian people in Vancouver. Well, the other problem that CW shows get into is there's too many superheroes. And Legends of Tomorrow solves all of this stuff because they write their characters as, like, dysfunctional adults instead of teenagers. And, uh, they're all, like... I wouldn't say they're superheroes, 
But they all sort of have abilities in their own. All right. Here we go. Roads built. Dreamer might be. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. She could be. Dreamer's awesome, though. The only thing that's saving that show right now is Dreamer Brainy. Oh god, I watched that show, Mega. Alright, so here we are. We have a road now. Like, every, every other show now seems to have an Asian... My favorite, I think my favorite new Asian character is the coroner on Prodigal Son. She's delightfully creepy. It only took me that far. Okay, so. Where's the next waypoint? Okay. The roads are pre-planned, yeah. Otherwise, they have to pre-plan it, because otherwise it would be way too hard for them to know where structures are going to interfere. Oh, more people have dumped shit into this one than the previous? That's weird. Definitely looks like there's something there, eh, Oron? I aid. Alright. I mean... The actress who... Um... Dominic, I'm not quite sure how the technology works. But it's, it's based on this idea of... Um, let me try to show you. This idea of bridge links. A bridge link so, is another way of describing the connection between you and another porter. If you want to forge a powerful bond, consider a strand contract. So, like, these are all the... These are all the, the people I've interacted with by picking up their cargo or something like that. It's it's interesting. It's this cool like asymmetric multiplayer deal. So I don't know if it like starts everybody um everybody who like starts the game at the same time is put into like a group or something like that, but see the people use my roads that I rebuilt and then I have sort of credit Yeah, not every trans person is sensitive to dead naming. I just, I know non-trans people who are sensitive to dead naming for security reasons, so. Okay, so the road has got to be here. All right, here's another. Still got it. Whoa, that's cool. She's cool. I really like Dreamer. Somebody's trolling, you think, Eileen? Uh, kind of, Dominic. Uh, it's... To me, it's more like, you know how they had that, those sort of global features in Metal Gear 5? Yeah, I I think that they they started off or on really pounding the trans thing. And then I think she's just so damned likable that um it went beyond that. And 
you know, the fact that it's her and, and Brainiac, who basically has a form of machine autism, is... I hated Brainiac when they first introduced him, in part because the makeup was awful, but now I love him. Well, yeah, but there was the big announcement that they'd hired her. Like... Cloudcraft, I think that's how it works, yeah. Yay, I made it up here with my bikey now. Okay. Uh-oh, rain, rain, hurry. Get inside, get inside, get inside. What's that sign trying to tell me to do? No, oh, you won't let me. Uh. All right. So I'm gonna have to build a shelter. That's interesting, Lauren. I was just curious about it. Um. But, uh, yeah, they, they, it was certainly, okay, what are we doing here? Okay. Okay, let's attempt this. Build another. I already bought. Built. No, build another one of these. And. Boots are okay. Gun is okay for now, I think. Build another one of these. They kind of did it on the show. Um. And then got away from it. I mean, they had that whole storyline where with her mom and stuff, but that um, that was, you know, <sighs> my God. Oh my god, there's so much. <sighs> yes. Or on that when when the actors allowed to just rip Brainy's great. Order of time. It's it's all about the likability of the actor. Okay, why did that not work? Why am I crouching? Drop. Okay, now how does this work? Okay, there we are. What just happened? Okay. Oh, it's on my butt now. Okay, let's see how this works. Carrier. Okay. So just put you... Alright. That worked out well. Can anything else go in the carrier? Actually, don't have very much on on my back. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, or on. Wait. Sam, you're gonna need more Cairo crystals. Aye. Get out there and Great. search. When you found the required amount, head to the site and get that safe house in order. Can I do this first, please? Okay, 
Okay, where's the safe site? The site is down here. Will it let me ride and... You know what's funny, Eileen? Is I didn't mind that either, because I thought it was like, that happens. No, I can't. Okay. And I saw people online go absolutely bonkers about it. Because why do you have to put it in? It's not necessary. I just thought, you know, that is that is our world now. It's a, uh, I like the way it bounces. Boink, 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 boink. Okay. And... Okay, Cloudcraft, I'm not the only one that does that. Because I'll have times where it's like... I'll be in something and it's like, hey, this character is gay. Or this character is, is you know, something. But I don't go into it with the intention of creating that. Okay, so you saw the freaking out too. That's right, it happened on both sides, didn't it? Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. You've made it. Let's get that safe house built. You good to go, Sam? First, equip your PCC and select safe house. See, this kind of stuff, I think, is going to be way easier on uh on pc keyboard configurations are gonna help so much Whee. That won't cut it, Sam. Yeah. You need more Cairo Wait, crystals. Wait, can I just leave this here, there? If you don't have there? more on you, go out and get some and deliver them to the I've safe gotta house. I've got to do all of it. At, no, I should be able to drop this stuff off. Yeah, it's like giant 3D printers, Hans. Yeah, see... Eileen, that annoyed me. Whoa! whoa, 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 whoa. BB's gonna laugh. Um... The wires uh, oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I got another. Um... The thing is... Like, Cassandra's a Spartan. Alexios is Spartan. Even if you preferred the same sex, you were expected to breed. So... That didn't bother me the way it bothered other people. Also... Um, also, the only reason... W you can access someone in Assassin's Creed is because they had a descendant. So that freaking out to me was like, really, guys? Really? And Ubisoft was big about it. They didn't fight people because that's a losing battle. But I did feel like that criticism was unfair. Especially since the relationships you had in that game were very strangers in the night, not really profound. It's in the DLC, Mega.
And I think, I mean, I think Ubisoft, Ubisoft made the right call. Just don't fight it. Um, it was a... See, that I think was a... a uh, uh, an unintended consequence of them changing the type of game it was. Instead of it being... Uh, you know, a straight-up action game. They added RPG elements to it. That's cool, Oron. Hopefully, if they get enough... Uh, if they get enough positive feedback from it, Disney will take note. That might be too much to ask. Delivering cargo. You're selling me on this game, Oron. I have no idea when I'm going to have a chance to play it, but... Yeah. Delivering car. Yeah, Eileen. Thank you for coming. Yeah, Oron. You really are it's funny because I, I find I Kylo Ren more of a like Marty Stew or Gary Stew. <laughs> My face is tired. Well, yeah, it's it's people not allowing, um, not allowing creators to create. They won't take the game on their own terms. They want it to be for them in all the things. Oh, that's why I was so slow. Probably enough to... Because I can just come back. Yeah, but Mega, he just seems so much like a... He has all these important roles and all that stuff. And I don't see a shred of proof that he's actually competent enough to be given the authority he's been given. And everybody crapped all over Ray, but gave him a pass. And I'm like, I... Kylo Ren drives me bonkers. Cannot stand that character. <sighs> oh, good, Cloudcraft. I think what it was is that there was never a ton of depth to Star Wars characters, there we go. but the actors in the original trilogy, they were relative unknowns and they were trying to give it their best, and so they breathed a lot of life into those characters, whereas now that it's like a, a phenomenon, People come at it in a completely different way, and it just doesn't... Just doesn't work. Luke failed at stuff, but okay, let's face it. Luke was... Yeah. 
Exactly. Like, Luke was pretty awesome, all things considered. He blew up a giant space base with feelings. And everybody was okay with that in the 70s because it was the 70s. But Luke wasn't in charge, was the thing. That's the difference between Luke and Kylo Ren. Luke was not in charge by a long shot. Leia was more in charge. And nobody knew about her. Luke was like along for the ride and nobody listened to him. See, the first movie was just a space western and it was what it was and I loved it. It was a fun, goofy, Saturday afternoon popcorn movie when those things existed. Okay. My issue with the whole Mary Sue thing is it's an inherently gendered concept. Like, why do we care? Why do we care so much about this? Like, in, in the fan fiction stuff, it was, again, something that people gave a name because they encountered it so often. But so what? Sometimes people just write bad empty characters. So what? And the definition of Mary Sue has already changed from its original definition, rendering it kind of pointless. If a definition can just shift, what's the point of the term? I mean, back in my day, we used to call characters like Ray OPs, overpowered, not Mary Sue's. Mary Sue's were obvious author self-inserts. Trying to, like, make their own existence awesome because of their barely concealed self-loathing. There we go. See, Oron, in the, in the books, they, uh, there is... Because, I mean, the thing about the Sith is that you complete your apprentice training when you kill your master. Yeah, but... Cloudcraft, that's a, that's an overall writing problem. I don't... Like, so what, they broke... No, they didn't really break their universe. I disagree with that. I don't like Rey, but that's because she was a little too Hermione Granger in space. The, the bigger problem with women in Star Wars is they need to stop creating Carrie Fisher wannabes and find somebody else who is as much themselves as Carrie Fisher was herself. Oh, I am not doing the training thing. I am not doing the training thing. You saw Luke train once with a trainer droid, be terrible at it, and then the next thing you know, he's awesome. They kept saying through the whole movie, he's not ready, he's not ready, he's not ready, and then he pulls off the impossible. Like... Luke did not have adequate training to explain his skills. Because that wasn't something that was necessary previously in a movie. Yeah, well, no, but all of a sudden he managed... He manages to channel the Force for the Death Star before he meets Yoda. He has no training in the Force. There is no one to train him. All the Jedi are gone. So this no training thing... Come on! He blew up the Death Star with feelings, with no trading! Don't get on the trading thing! It's hilarious! Yeah! Like, come on! The trading thing! What? Nice. There was no trading in the original Star Wars! Yeah, in Empire, Vader kicked his ass after he got trading! Apparently... 
In Star Wars, training makes you worse. We don't see Princess Leia training to be a military general. We assume she got the training, but we don't see it. That's what you're expected to believe about these other characters. That in some intervening time, they received a certain amount of training. Nice. Like, Rey was a person who had to live by her wits. You're supposed to already accept she has a certain amount of combat training. But you don't see her being trained, Mega, and no one says she was trained. People assume. And that's the thing. This is not that there's anything inherently in the script. It's that... What the fuck? Um, that we just assume Leia got training from her father. Um... And eventually they go back and say that, but that's not in the original movie. And there's no indication that that um, nice. Ambassador Organa or whatever was a, had any real military stuff. He was an ambassador. What the hell just happened? Oh well. Yeah, like it's not in the movies. It's in the books. And this is why this whole training, training, training obsession. It's absurd. It's inherently absurd. People just didn't like Rey. And so they found ways to explain their not liking of Rey. Instead of just going, I don't like her. She's unlikable. And leaving it at that. Because everyone's afraid to touch that third rail of an unlikable female character. Now, the issue is she wasn't intentionally unlikable. And I just... Can we please not have another Carrie Fisher clone? Please. Carrie Fisher was a clone of no one. She was Carrie Fisher. The thing everybody loves about Carrie Fisher is nobody could stop Carrie Fisher from being intensely Carrie Fishery, And... None of the women they've hired since are allowed to do that because they're not allowed to be their own person. Okay, let's try this, Cloudcraft. What abilities do they not explain with Ray? What abilities? Let's, let's see your theory through. Which ones? Piloting? Not so. She she steals she steals uh, planes. She steals craft for a living. She steals craft for a living. She knows how to do basic piloting. There they they basically said she has to move stuff. That there are things that get stolen. No. But I very much got the sense that part of scavenging parts was stealing, was stealing the actual machines to take them somewhere and strip them down. Also, how much tri- I mean, we didn't see the pod racing stuff with Luke until the fourth movie. Like, we didn't actually see Luke train to be a pilot. one line. You don't see him training. Thank you, Eileen. 
Like, it is no more implausible than the original movie. Not what came later to retcon it, the original movie. Show yourself. So if they had just shown her flying a speeder bike, that's all it would have taken. Like, that is a lot of hue and cry for bad editing. See, weak character development, I'll give you that. Rushed editing, I'll absolutely give you that. But this whole training thing, the original just didn't have it. Like, it is not they're showing characters do things without training. That's not the issue. The issue is whether she is significantly more guilty of that as a character than Luke Skywalker does. They showed him being terrible at it. They never showed him getting better. And that's the thing, you can't say they ruined Star Wars with this, they broke the universe, because this was always there. These shorthands, these skipping steps, it was always part of Star Wars. Always, always, always. Yeah, exactly. They have innate abilities. It's the Force. I'm so glad I grew up in an age where we were just, this person is cool. I don't need 40 minutes explaining why this person is cool. We were able to skip steps as viewers of cinema. Okay, I'm out of grenades, so I'm going to have to just... Hoof it back. Ah, oh, shit. Filing. Yay. Or on that is a part of the problem. The I I will give you that. The debate got way too heated and I don't know why people couldn't just, couldn't just do what I did, which is laugh it off. Like I, it just got ridiculous, ridiculous. People got way just too invested in, in the whole fight. I actually lost a friend over that stupid thing. Because I had her on as a guest, and she got trolled hard, and she couldn't handle it. And I'm not saying that's the critic's fault, but, like, I had to disable comments on the video because she was so upset. And then our friendship was still never the same after that. She was just so broken by it. Because she came on to talk about how Rey is not a Mary Sue. And it, it's not the fault of the people online. There's more issues than that. But this fight is so stupid that that's what it comes to. Oh, BB-8 
BB, uh, BB-8. BB flashback. Like, the fact that people, and it, it, it wasn't even as savage as the internets get back, as the internets give, but it was pretty mean, and people got personal, and most people cannot handle that level of savagery. I have to keep in mind that, um, that, uh, I have a, I have a much thicker skin than most people. Sabini. Still weird. That is a toque. I just think people read way too much in. Oh, what about you, little one? <laughs> like, people just read way too much in to stuff that is just supposed to be fun. You like me to open it? Nobody, like, a lot of people debating Star Wars now oh, weren't alive when the first one oh, came out. What do we have here? What do we I was have a baby. A space the. The Star Wars movie, the first Star Wars movie, was considered crap, garbage, critically savaged. So, and and Return of the Jedi was considered crap, critically savaged. The only Star Wars movie that has ever been considered a good movie is Empire. My friend will know what to do with this one. Rogue One ish. Well. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, there's a giant version of that in a hologram. It's it's on BB's Merry little Christmas. um little pod. <laughs> Which gives me the sense that these are memories that BB has. Those are absolutely majestic transition sequences. Oh. They're not intended to be great works of art. Totally, totally agree, the Star Wars movies. But they are what they are. Film, filmmaking, oh no, 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 oh no. Ah, uh, I fall. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> those those losses of control are excellent. <laughs> BB is Stewie Griffin. I could get into that. My gear is in shit shape. The the uh, cartoon? Yeah, very very thick legs with the exo. I actually have a banner of Ewoks on ice. That was a thing. I mean, people shit all over. Yeah, there was a Saturday morning cartoon. Um, and people at the time shit all over the Ewoks. The Ewoks were the Jar Jar of their day. And I love the Ewoks. See, KLRG, I agree. I, uh... I thought Return of the Jedi was really good, too. But that makes me a bad Star Wars fan. And back in the day, I got told I only liked the, uh, uh, Return of the Jedi because, uh, because I'm a girl. And so I have no taste in movies. See, I love them because they were a teddy bear race. Little cute things, kicking ass, sign me up. I mean, I know it's stupid. 
But sometimes you can know something stupid and love it because it's stupid. And they're like, it was only made for kids under five. It's like, yes, because people wanted somewhere to take their kids to see a movie. That's the business. It was the Spielberg era. It was, people were doing the four kids means crap. And it's like, it was an all ages movie. Of course there's something for kids. Yeah, I don't know why they got rid of the Yub Yub song. Was there a reason for that? E.T.'s something that there's an example of how times have changed. Kids won't sit through E.T. now. Yub nub. Beach up, yub nub. I told me Topi Chicken. Galoop Dopling, oh yeah. Glowa. Beach up, glowa. And there's something, Apucheni Foam. Uh, I used to know all the lyrics. I, Oron, I'm with you there. Phantom Menace was dreadful. Oh my god, the Christmas special. Life Day. Hey, Slick. Oh, good. Kids still like E.T. I love, obviously, I love E.T. <laughs> E.T. is one of my favorite movies of all time. Hey, Nemoralis. All Thank right, you, this done. Sam. This safe house will be a boom Great. to countless others in the long run. I'm not just talking about the porters who will use it as a stopover on the way to the weather station, but the people they help and the people they help. We're all connected oh, to someone moralizing. else, Sam. But you'll have the honor of being the first person to rest I there. admit, while I'm watching Mr. Robot, I still go, Elliot. Because I love E.T. The greatest thing about the E.T. Uh, video game is uh, Howard Scott Warsaw, Warshaw talking about the E.T. video game. Because he just has such a great attitude about the whole thing. Oh yeah, that was the only thing to do in that game. Fall down holes. Okay. You go. Oh, I'm out of grenades, aren't I? Better make some of those. I actually played that ET game because I was so into ET. I was too young to know it was a bad game. Thing is, there were worse games. Some of those like Activision knockoff shovelware games, they were way worse than the ET game. But it just became um it was the biggest high profile bad game. Oh, Animaniac, so good. Thank you for your continued support. Wait.
Oh, Animaniacs had so much subversive stuff in it. They meet Pablo Picasso, and you have pee-pee on your smock. And the good feathers, which people would not even understand nowadays. Thank you for your contribution. See, you could, you could never make ET today. You just couldn't. Oh, my bike is wrecked again. Screw you, time fall. Do safe houses uh, fix bikes? Oh, I like the uh, base, uh, the base Animaniacs cartoons on that show. I, I didn't care for Rita and Runt. Um, I like the good feathers. Um, oh yeah. Oh, they were all one note jokes. He wears a disguise to look like other guys, but you're not a man, you're a chicken boo. There we go. I'm trying to think of one of the others from... There was one I really liked. And I'm blanking on it now on Animaniacs. But it was like the core Animaniacs, the Wacko, Yakko, and Dot stuff that I really liked. It was all just weird little cultural references. Good idea, bad idea. That's right. And... Captain and Plucky, Dizzy Devil, Yucky, Go Go's and Lucky. Turbo's unlucky, and Go Go is insane. At Acme University, we earned our two degrees. Your work is great. Teaching class and getting laughs since 1933. Like so, Johnny, we're all a little loony. And this is how I'm trying to remember the, the characters. Dizzy Devil was cute. She was. She was a little tease. But best cartoon of the the 90s, the X-Men cartoon. I love that cartoon. They put in some really subversive stuff. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. My sister basically well, oh, Gargoyles was good. Darkwing Duck, good too. Batman the animated series is good. But it's easy to say that Batman the Animated Series was the best series. Hey, I think this is Noral. I can't tell if it's Norai or Noral. Rugrats, I could never get into. I think I was a little too old for Rugrats. Because it was made for a younger audience. That was just when Nickelodeon was like really getting going. Batman Beyond was intense, man. The tick was good. It's funny, I don't even count reboot. Because it was just such a different thing. So there's a lot of good shows. And that's the thing. I don't think that... Um, I don't think that YouTube is going to have the same collective memories. It's not going to have the same collective memories. Um, that that whole... What was it? Slade torturing Robin in Batman Beyond? Was it Robin? I don't remember. But there, I remember there was like a, an Akira-style torture scene in Batman Beyond. I like how they use motorcycle sounds to cover up the farts. I don't know why my poop grenades aren't getting made, but that's okay. I never use them anyway. Was that was that the one where Robin got tortured? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that was it. That was intense. Mm. 
Oh, this is when things go psycho! The oh, this is scary! I'm so sorry Eileen's not here for this. That's freaking terrifying. Like, fetuses can't even do that. Their skull's not solid. Yeah, there you go, James. <laughs> James and I went the same way at the same time. Like, I don't know what that's supposed just the guy's messed up, or I don't know what that's supposed to... What that's supposed to do, but it is terrifying. Okay, so where me go now? Hmm. Alright, gotta get south. Where we're going? We don't need ro There are no roads. I like the original Ninja Turtles cartoon too. World according to Yakko! That's what I was looking for! Thank you, Namorellis! Ah, oh boy. Here we go. Time fall. Am I going the wrong way? Maybe I am. Go back, wait out the storm. I should save. I haven't saved in ages. See, this is when this game, whoops, whoops. This is when this game becomes, like, this sort of tootling around stuff, I legit, why won't it let me use, there we go, um, Yeah, I, uh, I don't think Sailor Moon would get the warm welcome now. I was a little too old for Sailor Moon, too. Well, there were a lot of- oh, and another BB? Okay. Uh, there were a lot of Sailor Moon things where Tuxedo Mask had to save them, and that would be considered problematic now. Sorry about the mess. I got caught in the rain. He's drunk again. I tried waiting it out, but when I checked the time. I'm sorry. I should have come sooner. I got rain in my eyes. Just give me a minute. Really, the French dubs are better. That's very interesting. I just don't like dubbed anime, period. 
<laughs> yeah, that's that sort of everybody wait for the hero to but I mean like People also said at the time like why didn't somebody when like they were doing the he-man transformation Did someone not just go and yank the sword out of his hand problem solved? I like Sailor Mars too. Predicting the weather is akin to predicting the future. Huh? Some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger, but we have something far better: the ability to gather data and act okay, accordingly. Okay, dude. Only humans possess this power to plan ahead. Oh. We have the capacity to live each day imagining what tomorrow will be like, and our imagination once gave rise to a rich vibrant culture but somewhere along the line we lost sight of tomorrow sailor mars is how i wrecked my knee <sighs> we reduced ourselves to animals so i have a uh, difficult relationship the with the uh, sailor moon music oh this is pretty look at that that's beautiful Um, it was a cosplay related incident. I busted my knee during a photo shoot. Jumping up and down for the, you know, the Yatta! shot. Um, and, uh, on concrete floors. And of course, everybody else had those big fancy boots, and Sailor Mars has the cute little kitten heels. And, uh, bye bye knee. And the best thing is, it was two years before they discovered a new tendon in the knee, which is what I wrecked. So they couldn't figure out what was wrong with my knee. And by this point, it's just healed wrong. I mean, the, the underside was all shredded too. Like I needed knee surgery, but that's why I have to be really, really um, careful about stuff and not neglect physical elements of health. Oh, dark, Stuart. What is this? Oh. All right. Come at me, bro. Actually, I shouldn't be so cocky. The last one almost went poorly. No, it doesn't seem like there's that many people. Round one, fight. Aw, oh, good times. At this point, it's diminishing returns, and no, no, do not run me over. Oh, missed. Who's next? Fight me! What else have I got? Nothing. Alright. Kick! Don't need resins. Kick! Stay down. <laughs> it's just so cold. I mean, they're raging assholes, but still. See, this is the thing. The, the people in the game say, Oh, feel sorry for the mules, but BB is just a tool. And... No, I don't feel sorry for the mules. And if BB makes it out of this game alive, I will be super surprised, but BB's my bud. And I do not think that is a pro-life stance. I think it is a body horror thing.
Yeah, get out, fuckface. Wait, I wanna, I wanna kick you. Oh, uh, hello? Oh, there you are. Oh, you're the one making noise. Quiet. Ah, uh, come on. Hold my beer. Come at me, bro. Well, hold my energy drink. Hush now. Do you fall out of your own car? I don't care. Who's left? like that Sailor Mars is kind of like ambitious like yes in a comical way but I don't know I like Sailor Mars and I like Sailor Jupiter could return a shit ton to him, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. About the differences. Yeah, they... They put things in a suspended animation for transport. Where am I going? Back to the weather station. You kind of have to, in this game, that technology is so advanced as practically magic. It's very light science heavy on the fiction in that way. touches of absurdity all over the place like it's it's very serious but it doesn't take itself too seriously if that makes any sense just what I like about it The chiral particles might as well be, like, midichlorians. 
I mean, I have no problem with with guard particles as a device. It's just the way they were used in Star Wars. Um, there's a whole backstory to the mules where humanity basically became obsolete for work. Um, and so when the, um, when the Death Stranding happened, they, uh, you know, they needed porters again. And so the mules kind of went a bit crazy with the sudden, like, Humanity is useful again and started treating cargo, like the delivery of cargo, like this messed up religion. That's the story for the game anyway. The, the stacks? Yeah. The physics are pretty great too. Like the, the way the controls change based on weight and physics and all that stuff, it's, uh, it's pretty great. I better slow down or I'm gonna botch this. Agreed, Mega. And they kind of brought that back in the last and people who liked the midichlorians because it meant that people with high midichlorians were inherently special, hated it, but yeah. Star Wars fans ruined Star Wars the way Star Trek fans ruined Star Trek before them. Yeah. Midichlorians are totally unnecessary. It was space Buddhism. Deal. interesting, Oron. I wonder if that's where it came from. Stuff like that. True. Power level's better than midichlorians. Yeah, agreed, Nemoralis. I mean... I have a not... terribly positive opinion of the hierarchy of science fiction. I am a huge fan of space opera. And the the way hard science fiction um, the way hard science fiction sort of became the good kind of sci-fi and space opera became the bad kind of sci-fi. Um, I didn't like it. Oh, that was almost bad. Yeah, he overcomplicated it. I know people who are super huge into the fifth element. Like, it really touched them. I'm not one of those people, but as far as I'm concerned, anything that can, like, move people that way, I'm good with. Funny, Mega came at it from the <laughs> exact opposite end. Farscape was a lot of fun. I think I probably would have liked Firefly better had I not seen, um, had I not been in a Farscape. New bandwidth. New stuff. Okay, so that was worth it. Whoa. Okay. Well, did it make sense to you, you Nimorellis? Oh gosh, I try to pretend that movie didn't happen. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not going this way. Oh, a friend of mine was in Lex! Lex was... Lex is like... Low-budget Canadian science fiction and everything that is awesome about it. They had, like, no money. It had some very extreme content. Now, uh, Lex's base is spoken with a lot of fondness up here. Because it was made for nothing. Ah! My friend was showrunner on that, Dominic! Yeah, apparently Andromeda is supposed to be a very different show. Yeah, it's cheaper, but... Now, I don't know, it's... Stargate was made in Canada. S the, the CW series are made in Canada. Um, there, are, there are issues now with that because of Trump. X-Files was made in Canada, yep. These are all American shows. Like, Lex was actually produced in Canada. No way! That's cool, Dominic! Very nice crew! Oh, Zelda's going bananas with a catnip bag. I'm like, what is that sound? Well, it's... It's becoming increasingly difficult for people to do stuff out of the U.S. And I mean, even before that, a lot of production was being done in uh, Georgia. Um, yeah, uh, entertainment wasn't really affected by NAFTA, but there's always obviously tensions when there's going to be changes. Um, but a lot of stuff going to Georgia, 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 um, also took away some... I mean, there's lots out in Vancouver. There's less... <laughs> Zelda. Um, there's less going on in Toronto than there used to be. I mean, shows like Lost Girl and stuff like that were done here. Uh, Killjoys was here. Yeah. What is this place? Time fall farm. Oh, I'm here. Well, that was fast. Whoa. All right. What the? They farm the rain. <laughs> you seen Fubar two? That's funny. Are you gonna let me in or? No vehicles allowed. You just gotta be a jerk. Okay. Okay. Wait, I should check what kind of shape that car goes in. Oh. Beauty. Okay. Yeah, they sped up normal farming. Stuff just grows like crazy because of time fault. Yeah. Eh. What could possibly go wrong with that? Because wouldn't eating it then also age you? Delivering cargo. Thank you. Whoa, two people. So good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. 
She saw the value in what we were doing and led the effort to get our farm up and running. We've been waiting a long time to join the Chiral Network. Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? Well, I'll be. Did you really bring us this yep. much? How on earth did you manage? Got a strong back. Oh, bless you. Oh, not quite three stars. Okay. Delivery volume grade. Oh, yeah, I can carry more cargo. By the way, you wouldn't happen to know Fragile, would you? If you see her, pass along a message for us. Tell her thanks for saving our hides. If she hadn't stepped up, South Nods and our farm would have been wiped off the face of the earth. They do say She's that terrible. the canteen uh, so. All right. uh, replenishes itself. Right. That's true. Here we go. Okay, this is probably a good place to stop once we do this animation. I like having like a complete quest line in streams. Ha! Ah, not Hill Farms! Oh god, what did he do now? I saw the one on the debate last night. Elias Dufexis, I know him too! Is that him? He's in a lot of games. So good, glad people know these like Canadian names. There's the scanner nullifier. So, so you've been run down by mules after they pinged your That's cargo, what's fun. Right? Well. To help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Say you're about to get pinged. Yes, if you yeah, right, or on you that, favor. you heard the crowd at posts, the time, cringe. They'll be none the wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything, though. Now to start really using Timefall to our advantage. He also said there was only ever one black woman elected to the U.S. Senate. Um, and uh, with Kamala Harris right there. And he wasn't talking about Kamala Harris. And Kamala Harris just went like. She was just like, come on. Truth be told, we've got some test fields. But no. without the ability to predict Timefall, the results have been less than stellar. The time fall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. Uh, I think Biden's just... Biden. Back. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan... We'll be able to expand our operation and use time fall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic um, research too, of course. And see the if we can't find foreign a way policy discussions were. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about. Tulsi Gabbard got that. really personal yeah, at one part. Us. But I'm up for the challenge. And it was really That's awkward yeah. because she all but called Pete Buttigieg a coward for not talking to Bashir al-Assad or not wanting to talk to Bashir al-Assad. That's the way, Sam. And then that was Definitely like there. right near the end, and then she you went to it. talk about compassion and aloha, no. and it just did well, not work. Like they're not her campaign the is the not running a campaign the for their candidate. They're like, You're a the girl, therefore you have to be touchy feely, and she's just not. And I don't think she should have to be, but it's really at odds. All right, so I'll call it there. We just started getting talking in politics and... Uh, weather station, weather station. Uh. I missed. Yeah, it, it, her closing argument was not written for her. It was so strange. <sighs> mm. 
No, James, I'm just sort of letting them go right now. I need an assistant to do stuff like that. And I don't, who's going to watch a three-hour stream? Like, really? Um... Like, maybe people are. I just... I don't know. I'm not... Whoops. Special beer. What's special about it? Okay. Something to consider, James. I mean, my priority right now is, uh... Um... My priority right now is, is con maintaining the stuff I'm already doing and getting boss fight. The downloads take a really long time, Hans. And then the upload to YouTube takes a really long time because the videos are so long. That's... That's the issue with it. So... Like, that's my hesitation. I would rather take that hour and, um... Um... And write boss fight. Oh, look, they're all moving now. There you go. Uh, start at episode four. I'll, I'll, uh... I'll, I'll do a boss fight update, and then... Start at episode four, have started working on the costumes. Um... Have started doing some of the, um... Wow, it's on sale already. Um... Uh, uploads of, of an hour, Hans, you... They fail a lot if I try to do them while I sleep. Um... But, uh... The, um, and I already do that for videos plenty already. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, right, boss fight. Um, it's, uh, I'm trying to find a couple of character voices right now for episode four that... I don't want them to be too similar, and they're both kind of bitter, jaded characters, so I have to be careful about character voice, but it's, uh, I mean, I think it's going fairly well. It's, it's going along. Um. Oh, I tried to do that, Hans. I know there are plugins. I, I, again, finding out how to do that takes research and time and time farting around and as much as I know it's a worthy goal I I have to prioritize like I'm already so overloaded as is I got so run down last month like no words um so you know I'm I'm of the mind that my first priority is to the stuff I've already committed to do. And if uh yeah, um uh, I want to get that stuff done, then I'll have to decide whether I want to do these extended series anymore because they are huge commitments. But um like we'll see one thing at a time. Farting is extremely important. Like, I only have the little animations on my Twitch channel because somebody did it for me. Someone was kind enough, uh, Nikio was kind enough to do it and set it up and tell me exactly what to do. That's pretty much where I'm at right now because, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to play 
six different characters in a web series. It's it's a lot. And so there are a lot of things I'd like to do, but I can only do as much as I can do, you know? I do find these fights very fun, though. Like, I just kind of... I want there to be a certain level of quality in the stuff I'm attempting now and instead of doing a bunch of things half-assed, if that makes any sense. Alright, cleared out. Raid the place, guys! Alright, so... Shit, where's my bike? Where'd my bike go? Did someone steal it? Oh no, there it is. Um, these are mules. They steal your shit. Oh, VB like me falling. Um, see that's the thing. I wish I could say I was having fun. Right now I'm not having a lot of fun. Like, this kind of stuff's fun. But, work feels like a real slog right now. And I'd, I'd like to get back to... Finding it like less of a slog and having it be more manageable. So, and this is just me being totally honest. It's not that I don't like the work. It's just, it's too much. And the periodic bouts of drama that pop up and explode um, make it kind of exhausting. See, taking a break as a digital content creator means you don't get paid. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, Ari. I've got to sort of... And I can't curtail my commitments because I need to make more money, not less. Nice. Um, but the things that are getting curtailed are things like seeing friends and doing social stuff and stuff like that. And, and that gets depleting after a while. Oh, God. Speedy and... You never know what the drama's gonna be. Like... I, I can't just get people to give me higher paying work, Hans. It's... I'm a disabled 40-year-old woman. Nobody's gonna hire me. And... When you take a full-time job now, the hours are so crazy, you can't do anything else. And, I mean, that's really harsh, but... Nobody wants to hire somebody whose hands don't work. So, you know, don't work for anything meaningful, like lifting or things like that. So... Sure, Nemoralis. I mean, boss fight's not... Boss fight's deliver delivery date was March. Um, so, and I'm still... Hopefully gonna hit that? It looks... I mean, I, I said March aiming for, you know, January, February, but... There we go. Well, I mean, that that's the thing. You know, when people talk about invisible disabilities, it's... Um, it's a real thing. But, uh... It's, uh, yeah, okay. I've been going, like, 20 minutes longer than I said I'd stop because we got talking about things and I felt rude to cut it off. But I should, uh, I should go because today was going to be, I've got to do Feedback Friday and then I wanted to do a bit of boss fight writing. But boss fight writing might have to wait till tomorrow. Um, this is just really pretty now. Okay, everybody. Um... Thanks for watching. Thanks for the good chat. Chat is awesome as usual. I like that we can talk about stuff. Um, everybody had a good day. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, stop.